Greetings, gentlemen. I have a semi-formal event coming up this weekend. I was starting to get ready for a big special event for me. And as I was going through my clothes, figuring out what I was going to wear, I ran into what could have been a huge problem. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you why every gentleman needs one of these. Check it out. I held it up backwards. It's a good take, and then I held it up backwards. So I have this semi-formal event coming up and I really want to look sharp. I want to look like I own the place. I want to walk in and have all the heads turn. Because of the time of year, springtime, I picked my sport coat. But I ran into a problem. I started going through my clothes, picking out the outfit, checking things out, and I noticed I lost a button. Sooner or later, you're going to lose one. Something's gonna happen, not because you ate too much, but just because they get worn, they get used, the thread becomes loose, whatever the case may be, you're going to lose a button. It is so important to have one of those little sewing kits. They're not that expensive, they don't take too much space, and you hardly ever use it, but it's one of those things that when you need it, you wish you had it. I don't have time to take this to the tailor or back to the store where I got it to see if they can make the repair. I'm gonna have to do it myself. Is it gonna be a perfect repair? No, but it's not gonna be noticeable. It'll get the job done. Most of the time when you buy a sport coat, a suit, they come with a little pack in one of the pockets with a couple of extra buttons. Save those buttons. You never know where you're gonna be when you lose one, and if you don't have it, chances are you're not gonna find an exact replacement, and you're gonna end up having to replace all the buttons if you really like that jacket and you want to keep it so let's get over to the table and i'm going to show you how to make that repair how to get a button back on your sport coat and get you back to looking down so the first thing you want to do is uh, hopefully you still have the button you want to make sure any designs uh, that are on the button are in concert or in line with the buttons that are still attached hopefully you still have a button attached that way you know how to position it when you sew it back on try to find where the threading was uh, before and you're gonna like sew it back in that same spot now with the blazers um, It's it's gonna be like you're gonna have double fabric So there's gonna be some room in between the fabric you see on the on the front the outside and then the fabric the inside so you can actually sew this without having anything come out the Back or the inside of the fabric. That's the key. That's gonna gonna give you a nice clean look and then you're going to take your sewing kit and you want to find the thread. Now, normally for these kinds of buttons, you may want a thicker thread. I could do a silver thread uh, to try to get it close to the color of the button. Or I can do a navy thread. I, I have that. Um, it's going to be pretty close to the, uh, to, the, to the blazer itself, to the jacket. It does look like they use navy on the other button, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with that. All right, I have my needle, we get some thread. I'm gonna unravel this thread here. And this may be the hardest part of the process is threading the needle. So I'm gonna give myself plenty of thread because this thread is pretty thin. I may even wanna double it just to try to thicken it up a little bit. I think that's enough. These little sewing kits even come with little scissors. Again, this is not like high-end stuff. This is just in a pinch when you can't get it back to your tailor. Um, you use one of these little travel sewing kits and it's great. Sometimes these kits come with a needle threader. Um, it's basically this little piece of tin with a wire on the end of it. And you push that through the eye of the needle. Um, it makes a big hole on the other side and then you can run the thread through and pull this back out that will thread your needle this is broke so it doesn't have that uh, little end on there so i'm gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way all right i'm gonna give, just give it a twist here try to keep that thread together okay so i know my button position is going to be right about here and I can tell by the eyelet on the underside of the button that this is going to be vertical. So I'm going to be working across the blazer. The first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and 
thread or run some thread underneath the first layer, the outer layer of fabric. Just about like that. Okay, I'm gonna go about to the end of my thread. About like that. And then I'm gonna run it again to cinch this up a little bit so it doesn't come out. Like that. All right, and you take your button and you can run it back through. Oh, I just stabbed myself. These kits do come with a thimble. Put that on your finger, thumb, whatever. They don't have a fit. Okay, I'm gonna run this through. And then just go back again. Same thing, just like starting the thread. And when you gently pull this, we'll see it starts to cinch up and just keep going through the process and again this thread is very thin this is not anything that I would say permanent but in a pinch this will work just fine it's going to get me through my event. No one will even know. And I'm going to do this at least half a dozen times. And really just because the thread is so thin. All right, here you have the, I did it about six times. You see the button designs are lined up. Nothing's on the underside, looks really clean. Again, this is only temporary and now you want to go around the button and then up through the loop to kind of knotting around the button. You know, I do that two or three times. that and then I'm gonna go back into the fabric one last time and then that's it cut off the excess and you're done trying to use these little dinky scissors just to use the kit I want to show you what it's like in a pinch like you have to use that kit so I'm gonna get as close as I can oh didn't quite get it okay there you go There you have it, the button is back on, it's functioning, working. Let me go ahead and try on my outfit, see if it's going to work, you tell me what you think. And there it is, the jacket's repaired, wait, here we go, the ultimate test. Button secured, how about that? Real easy to do, knowing how to do that stuff will keep you looking dapper. I hope you got something from this video. What do you think? You like this outfit for my semi-formal event tonight? I'm working the gray chinos, the brown monk straps, and the uh, navy blue blazer. I'm kind of digging it, feeling very dapper. A little extra tonight. If you got something from this video, please be sure to drop me a thumb and leave me a comment below. Consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you never miss a video. I'm the Capable Gentleman showing you ways to go from dirty to dapper to encourage you to never stop learning. Until next time, I, I'm running late. You gotta get out of here. Be kind, everyone. See you next week.